Hi, I am Sayed on Mass Online. Today we will be dealing about the topic of finding out the particular integral of polynomial function. We will take this polynomial function as say type 3. In the previous video we have already seen how to find out the particular integral of an exponential function as well as trigonometric function. So now we will try to discuss about the polynomial function. So particular integral of the form 1 by f of d times of this phi of x. So where this phi of x is nothing but the polynomial function. Where phi of x is polynomial function. So it is a polynomial function. This phi of x can be like x or x square or x square plus 2x plus 1. Such type of polynomial functions you can have. So if it is a polynomial function, how to find out the particular integral. So just take an example and show you how exactly to find out. solve y double dash plus 3y dash plus 2 times of y is equals to 12 x square so this differential equation we will try to write down in the form of the operator so y double dash is d square plus 3 times of this is d plus 2. So y will take it as common. It should be equals to 12 x square. So let us write down the auxiliary equation. Auxiliary equation will be m square plus 3 m plus 2 is equals to 0. So we can try to find out the roots of this equation. So go for mode. Choose the equation. It is a quadratic equation, therefore we are going to choose uh, option 3. Coefficient of m square is 1. So just type it as 1. Then you have coefficient of m will be 3. Just put it as 3. Then the constant term is 2. So just check it what will be the root. The first root is minus of 1. The next root will be minus of 2. So these are the two roots. So m is equals to minus 1 and minus 2 are the roots of this equation. Therefore you can write down the complementary function to be equals to c1 e power of minus 1 times of x plus c2 e power of minus 2 times of x. So this is the complementary function you have. So now the particular integral will be equals to 1 by the operator. The operator is d square plus 3d plus 2 times of the right hand side value will be 12 x square. So this is the particular integral. Because it is a polynomial function, this x square is a polynomial function. So we will try to adopt the division method. So we will just try to divide this 12 x square by d square plus 3d plus so how to divide this one? So we will try to divide. We divide to obtain Pi. So if you want to divide, I will write down this 12x square as it is. Now this operator which is there, d square plus 3d plus 2, I will write in the increasing order of d. So the first one will be the smallest power of d, then it will be the highest power of d. So if, if I write in that order, it should be 2, 3d and d square. So it will be 2 plus 3d plus d square. So whenever you write down this expression, it should always be in the 
increasing power of d first will be the constant uh, term next power of d should be 1 then power of d should be 2 so now let us try to divide this one so 2 if you try to multiply this 2 with what value has to be multiplied so that I get this 12x square so 2 times of 6x square I will multiply that by 6x square so 2 times of 6x square will give you 12x square so 12 times of x square so 2 has been multiplied by 6x square next to multiply this 3d 3d with 6x square so this 3 will be remaining as it is you can take this 6 outside the constant outside I have to differentiate d of x square that means differentiation of x square will be 2x so if you just try to multiply this one you will be getting the value to be equals to 36x so you will be getting plus 36x next this d square has to be multiplied by 6x square so 6 is a constant I will write it outside I have to first differentiate this x square because d square is there 2 times here to differentiate so once if I differentiate x square I will be getting 2x if you multiply 6 times of 2 it is 12 again differentiation of x so differentiation of x will be 1 so we will be getting 12 so it is plus 12 now let us try to subtract this one this is minus this is minus and this is minus so plus is there you will just try to replace that by minus sign so what happens is this is plus 12x square and minus 12x square will cancel out so you get the value as minus of 36x here it is minus of 12 now once again this 2 has to be multiplied by say minus of 18x to get this 36x so 2 times of minus 18x will be minus of 36x further this 3d square has to be multiplied by minus of 18x so 3d so here 3d has to be multiplied by minus 18x so 3d times of minus 18 times of x this will be equals to so this negative sign will be as it is 18 times of 3 will be 54 then differentiation of x so it is d of x so differentiation of x will be 1 so we will just be getting minus of 54 so minus of 54 once again this minus sign is there you replace it by plus here minus sign is there you replace it by plus we see that this minus 36 and plus 36 will cancel out so you are left out with plus 54 minus of 12 so if you uh, try to subtract this one you will be getting the value as 42 further let us try to multiply this 2 2 multiplied by how many times will give you 42 so that will be 21 times so 2 times of 21 will give you 42 so if you try to subtract this one it will cancel out and you will get the value to be equals to 0 so you can see that the remainder is equals to 0 so if you try to see that uh, here after multiplying this uh, 3d with uh, minus of 18x I have not evaluated this d square with minus 18x so why is that this d square when you evaluate that by minus 18 of x the value will definitely become 0 so that's the reason why I have not written any of the values there so why is that it becomes equals to 0 because if you try to differentiate this uh, d twice so once if I differentiate this x it becomes 1 second time when I differentiate that 1 it becomes 0 so therefore I have not written any of the value over here because I know that its value will be 0 whenever you are trying to differentiate uh, the power of x so whenever the power of uh, x power of power of x is less than power of d power of d the derivative will always be equals to 0 so this power of x is 1 and the power of d is 2 so the power of x is less than the power of d therefore its derivative will be 
0. So that's the reason why I have not written plus 0 over here. It is understood. Similarly here also 42. I have just multiplied this 2 with this 21. But I have not simplified this 3D with 21. Because each of the term has to be multiplied by 21. So even if I multiply 3D with 21. So differentiation of the constant will be how much? 0. So it will be in this form. So 3D is multiplied by 21. What, what is differentiation of the constant? Differentiation of the constant will be 0. Similarly, this d square has to be multiplied by 21. However, differentiation of the constant is 0. So, twice if you try to differentiate, then also its value will be 0 only. Therefore, I have not mentioned those values over here. So, we have got this particular quotient value to be the particular integral. Therefore, we have the particular integral to be this particular value. That is 6x square minus of 18x plus 21. That is the particular integral. So, what will be the solution? The solution is y is equals to cf plus pi. So, therefore, we have y is equals to. So, we have cf to be equals to c1 e power of minus of x plus c2 e power of minus of 2x. Particular integral is this plus 6x square minus 18x plus 21. So that will be the required solution.